Hey Sagittarius. So before I get started, I would like to give a big thank you to all of my patrons who have joined and gained access to my daily readings. Also to everyone who has purchased a pair of lashes on JaceLashes.com. Anything you need to know will be in the description box. The uh, website to my tarot, also the website to my second channel is down below as well. And this one is the energy surrounding Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Justice card here. And just in this deck specifically, I just noticed this person is blindfolded. I do feel like there definitely could be something that you are unaware of. Now, Justice, this is, this is clarity. So I do feel like you are going to be getting... Um, clarity on something that maybe you wonder or are confused about. We do have the Seven of Cups here. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. Um, also getting an Earth sign. Okay. Yeah, we have the Moon card energy here. There's definitely a secret here that is going to come to light. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Cancer. We do have the Eight of Swords. Somebody's very worried. I feel like somebody's very worried about a relationship. Um, where it's going, is it going to last or even uh, work out? What is the energy surrounding such chariots? What is the energy surrounding such chariots? Okay. Yeah, nine of swords and seven of wands. Somebody's wondering if they should cut someone off or distance themselves or block them or something like that. Say, there's a lot of worry here. Why is the Eight and Nine of Swords here? Somebody could be worried somebody's going to walk away. Why is the Eight and Nine of Swords here? Okay, Four of Wands in the reverse. I feel somebody is um, concerned that maybe this relationship isn't going anywhere. Maybe your person has been a little bit distant, a little bit secretive. Could be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer. Um, you, yeah, your person's been a bit secretive. You know, I do feel maybe you're worried that things aren't going to move forward, things aren't going to last. So maybe I feel like for some of you with the Four of Wands being the reverse, you could be worried that maybe the wedding's off or the marriage is off, something like that. Yeah. Give me more on the Justice card. I want to know what you're going to find out. Okay, Eight of Wands could find out about some communication here. Give me more on the Eight or the Justice card. Okay, King of Wands. Yeah, I, I definitely feel you're going to find that somebody is in communication with someone. Uh, we do have the Eight of Cups here as well. I feel like you're going to walk away or somebody... Um, I, I feel like somebody's going to be forced to walk away after whatever information comes out. Comes out. I do want to know what the Seven of Cups is about. Because Seven of Cups, it can represent confusion, but it also can represent options. So I do just want to see, um, make sure if that's the case or not the case. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Okay, Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody feels very burdened by this. And I do feel like this reading is for people that are in a relationship or are in a connection dealing with someone that is being very distant, um, very secretive. Maybe, like, I don't know, it just almost seems like with this Eight of Wands here, somebody could be hiding their phone or hiding who they're communicating with. Um, okay, clarifying the Moon card, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, somebody, oh, I don't like this. Okay, so I just noticed on this card, there's like a little mouse or a little rat by all this money. Some of you guys could be concerned or wondering if your person is using you, whether it's for money or sex or whatever. Um, but I do feel like some of you guys are worried that that may be happening. Okay. Five pinnacles here. Yeah, I, I feel like you give more to the relationship, but they are, yeah, of course, it can be vice versa if you're a cross watcher or something. But yeah, somebody gives more to the relationship. So I, I definitely feel um, some of you guys may be considering walking away from this. Okay. We have the chariot card here with the two of pentacles. All right. So for those of you that um, maybe were wondering if your person had options or maybe your person's wondering if you have options, whatever's going on. I do feel like there is a little bit of juggling here. There could be a cancer somewhere here with the chariot card, but I definitely feel that somebody is juggling. So I do feel like your worries or your intuition is right. I definitely feel that your person is hiding something and I do feel like they're hiding who they're communicating with. 
Any additional messages? Ooh, okay. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I do feel for th those of you who could be. I'm getting a class. Maybe somebody met someone in class, or somebody met somebody at work. Yeah, we have the world card here. I, yeah, I think your person here in this message. Of course, if this message is not yours, don't take it. But if this is resonating, your person has a new beginning with someone or has met someone new. I do feel like this is a new person here with the Page of Pentacles. What are the messages for Sagittarius? Universe, any additional messages for Sagittarius? Oh, all right. Judgment and the King of Cups. Okay, so I do feel the judgment coming out. Justice coming out. Now is the time. And there's all types of cards here that, you know, can represent an ending or a beginning of a cycle. I do feel like now is the time to decide to walk away from this, um, to turn your back on this person for sure. Because I do feel they are going to continue to be sneaky and hide stuff. And I do feel like very soon, could even be today, um, you're going to find out what they're hiding. So... I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website, swordstarot.com, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.